Yo, what's up guys? So, I came to you guys with a video about a month ago talking about these two handhelds and more specifically the settings menus and the differences and similarities between the two. Now, I'm here with an update because we have some exciting things to show you about these new updates that's come to um, some of the Windows handhelds and the overlays. So if you're not familiar with the Steam Deck overlay, you know that you can press this button here to bring up the menu. And that's going to allow you to control your performance overlay. That's going to be the you know performance stats. Um, you can control your frame rate and also the refresh rate and other things like TDP and you can enable FSR and control your GPU clock speed. So in the past, the old overlay on these Windows handhelds had a little bit less features, but now with this update in, in the last month, I think it's been like three updates. So they're working hard on this. We now have a lot more features that are just bringing the user interface to be much closer and even sometimes surpassing the Steam Deck in some regards. So before we always had the TDP, we had the GPU frequency and CPU and the fan speed and everything else. But what's interesting now is that we have an automatic TDP limit. So what that's going to do is pretty much, I have this frame rate limit so I can cap the frame rate to anything from 30 to 40 to 60. And then I have this automatic TDP. And what's that going to do is it's pretty much going to take my max frame rate and it's going to manage my um, GPU TDP to just maintain that frame rate. What that's going to do, it means that I don't have to worry about the frame rate and the TDP as much because this is going to handle it. So I just want to showcase that um, for a second here. I have a game, this is um, Spider-Man, and we're just going to, you know, go around for a second and just see what it does. So right now I'm swinging around, as you can see, it's holding that, um, that 40 FPS and it's going to manage my TDP. So right now we're at about 19 watts and we're maintaining that TDP, that frame rate. What you see is if I come to a less intense um, situation, we're going to see that frame rate is going to hold and we're going to see how it manages our TDP. So right now we can see that it's um, just seeing that we're not doing as much. So right now the TDP is going to drop because it's realizing that it doesn't need as much power to hold that frame rate. So we started off at around 1920 watts and right now we're going down to 15 watts as you can see there. And it's going to keep maintaining that frame rate. So we, you see we have a solid locked 40 FPS. It's going to manage the TDP um, in relation to the frame rate. So as we get going here, it's gonna require a little bit more power. So it's going to bring that TDP up. So as it's swinging around, we're at 12 watts, we're at 13 watts, and it's gonna just look at that frame rate and it says, okay, if it drops a few frames, it's gonna realize that it needs to increase that TDP. So now we're up to 14 watts, 15 watts, and we're back at 40. Okay, we drop to like 37. So it's realizing that it just has to manage that TDP bring it back up a little and that's going to give us our solid 40 FPS. So this is an amazing step forward for these new Windows handhelds. And I'll just let you guys know that the One X Player Mini Pro, here I have that here, the One X Player Mini Pro also has that same, um, the same settings here. So you also have the um, TDP limit. So we're getting these settings on multiple Windows handhelds, as you can see here, we have that um, that TDP setting right there. And we're getting these settings now on multiple Windows handhelds. And that's just bringing us one step closer to the usability of the Steam Deck. So it's great to see that here, because as you can see, it's going to manage, it's going to manage my TDP, manage my frame rate. So this is amazing, you guys. This is awesome to see. The Steam Deck doesn't have that. But what I would say the Steam Deck does have an advantage is that it has the, um, the per game settings. So you can pretty much find your TDP and lock that in each game, it will remember those settings. The Windows handhelds don't have the per game settings yet, but this automatic TDP 
is like the closest that we have so far to matching the Steam Deck because now what you can do is you can set a frame rate to like 40 or 45 or even 60 and it's going to manage that TDP across your game. So if it only needs 10 TDP in some games to hit 60, it'll stay at 10. If you go to another game, it needs 25 to hit 60, then it'll be at 25 and it's going to manage your games um, and the TDP um, accordingly. I, I'm, I would love to see um, per game settings and I think that's coming. We're just a little bit away from that. But just for now in the time being, I think that we are very close to um, being as good as the Steam Deck in terms of usability and device control and even beating it in some ways. And that's that's awesome to see you guys. I'm excited to see um, what they do next. We've already had well three updates in the last month with this overlay um, itself. So excited to see what comes next. I'm gonna keep you guys, you know, in the know, I'm gonna keep you guys posted with the latest updates. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited. Steam Deck is still, you know, amazing for the price, but you no, know, these new handhelds are beating it in performance, and now even usability is catching up. So that's amazing to see. I will say that I haven't really touched my Steam Deck since I got these new um, 1600U devices, and I'm not regretting that anyway. Some people may miss, you know the touch pads but you know for that actual performance i see that as a reasonable um trade-off and i don't really miss that you know when i'm looking at this much larger screen um much better performance and it all kind of um makes me forget about the touch pads but not to take anything from the steam deck i'm just saying that these windows handhelds with the overlays and stuff like this are getting very good and I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm going to keep you guys posted. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.